Okay, here it is. Just got delivery of my new Roll Adventure A1 bicycle. UPS driver just drove away. So I cut the tape all around. I'm gonna lift the uh, front cover here. See what we got. That's how it comes packaged. Got the frame on top. You've got some pieces of foam protecting various parts of the frame. It's, some things are tie wrapped. Okay, there's the frame laying on my couch for now. Back over to the box. The uh, wheels and tires are underneath. And here we have the frame and both wheels out of the box. Everything came in extremely nicely packaged. Everything looks like it made the uh, shipment without any problems. So let's see if we can get this thing together. Okay, got all the packaging off the frame. Took all the tie wrap wraps off everything. Next step is Mounting the handlebar to the stem, and of course, putting both wheels on. So we'll see you in a little bit when it's all assembled. So here it is, folks. All assembled. The only things that are not stock, I changed the handlebar. And I also, these, I, these grips are slightly different, although they're similar to the ones that came with the bike. I will explain both of those a little later. So the question for you today is, do you prefer a roll? Or do you prefer a hero? Well, this gives you both. It is a roll, and it's my new hero in the bike world. That's not too corny, is it? Yes, this is a roll. These are made in Ohio, believe it or not. Now for some of these specifics, we have lightweight 6061 double butted aluminum frame. That frame comes complete with internal cable routing. We have a Hydroform 6061 aluminum disc specific with alloy steered tube fork. We have a VP alloy semi integrated with sealed cartridge bearing headset. It features 700C 32 hole double wall anodized alloy rims. The hubs polished aluminum disc sealed cartridge bearings and bolt-on QR skewers which is kind of odd. So instead of a quick release with a handle or a through axle this is kind of like a quick release without the handle. You need an allen wrench to uh, tighten and untighten. No big deal. You can always swap it out for a quick release with a skewer. I'm sorry, a quick release of the handle. <laughs> the stock tires are Kenda's 700 by 40 millimeter. Flint Ridge, dual tread. Check out the tread on these puppies. You got a couple smooth areas right in the center. And when you hit that dirt or gravel, you got those low knobbies, low raised parts on either side. In case you ever feel like stopping, you have uh, Tektro MD-M300 mechanical disc brake with 160 millimeter TR-1 rotors. They work quite well, actually. The brake levers are Tektro CL-530 with a cushioned insert. Bike features a SRAM via Centro 1x10. So you got uh, 10 gear cassette in the back. 
and you only have one sprocket in the front. Works very well. Here's your uh, shifter right there. They call this their road saddle and honestly it's the first bike I've bought in the last 10 years that I have not switched out the seat yet. It's pretty darn comfortable. Can't compl no complaints so far. So the grips, this comes with uh, ergonomic craton grips with the uh, bar ends. I had an issue with one of the uh, grips as far as tightening it. I let them know and they sent me a new one within a few days. In fact, they sent me better. These are Ergon GP2s they replaced them with and these are just awesome. No complaints at all. The handlebar was attached to this bike. Um, the way it was bent um, the hand, the grips uh, on both sides, they would actually angle back a little bit, no matter how you uh, had the uh, rest of the bar angled. And I decided I liked a handlebar set up like this better. This has like a, I think a three inch rise, and they're pretty much straight out from the bend, and it gives me enough height without changing the stem. I thought it sat just a little low for me when I ride. Um, I, I decided to keep the stem and just change the bar. Of course you could keep the bar and get a higher angle stem or an adjustable stem if that makes you more comfortable. Depends how, how uh, upright or leaned over you want or if you have any neck pain while you're riding. On their website they claim that uh, this particular bike without any additions that I have on here weighs 20 approximately 23 pounds I found that a bit light I was gonna be extremely surprised if it came in that light so I used the old bathroom scale method weighed myself weighed myself with the bike subtracted it out and I got 25 pounds which is still very respectable for a bike that does not have a carbon fork I have a Trek FX3 which I believe is 24 pounds but that has a carbon fork this has an aluminum fork aluminum frame and 25 pounds that's that's pretty good I was replacing a, a specialized rock hopper mountain bike which comes in at 31 and a half pounds without any additional stuff on it so what's the purpose of this particular bike this A1 adventure well, they call it an adventure bike. They talk about riding on pavement. They talk about riding on gravel. They don't actually call it a gravel bike. <clears throat> but, you know, it's, it's pretty much set up as a gravel bike. It's got a 1x10, which a lot of them are doing these days. These tires are definitely gravel tires, 700 by 40 with that kind of a tread. <clears throat> the frame geometry. Um, it's just, I've had it on a 22-mile gravel and dirt uh, ride already and it was it was great performed flawlessly very comfortable no problems I've driven ridden through my uh, haven't had it on a paved ride yet but I've ridden through my parking lot a few times back and forth and it does absolutely fine on pavement so I just started checking out gravel bikes a couple months ago I bought a, a specialized rock hopper back in 2017 for some of the dirt trails around my area uh, one of them has some really bumpy spots, so I, I like the uh, high volume, low pressure 29er tires on it. And some of the bumps it took care of for fine. But now, since these all these gravel bikes came out, and gravel similar bikes, I decided I don't need that much of a bike for these trails. I'm not doing single track uh, for the kind of dirt trails I need. It's the rock hopper was overkill and this bike's uh, you know six and a half pounds lighter it's much more agile it takes off quicker it's less work obviously so um, they also make a uh, drop bar version of this if you're interested uh, I think that's the A1 Adventure Road I think I'll, I'll leave a link to the website in the video but, so they have about um, six different bikes on their website uh, they have a, a sport they have something called a cafe racer uh, they have the adventure they have the adventure road they also have something called the gravel road 
which is kind of similar to this, but there's a, there's a few different things about it, about it, different about it. So uh, they offer free shipping. I ordered this a few weeks ago on a Monday, and I got it in two days. Uh, it came UPS, which, you know, it's hard to find a lot of new bikes these days from anybody. Your local bike shop or even online, very hard to find bikes, but for to have a you know, a bike shipped to you in two days. You can configure it too. There's up to six different colors. You can also uh, change, have uh, this silver, silver or black. This headset, um, and there's also a custom uh, fitting thing if you want to answer a few more questions. But uh, all I, and they have a you know measurement guide like how tall you are and which which size would be best for you. So I'm five nine. I got the uh, size two. Uh, it's kind of like a medium size from five foot I think five six to five eleven or something like that so yeah so if you're looking for a uh, a new bike that's uh it's comfortable rides well um, and you want a new bike and you want to configure it uh the way you want your choice of up to six different colors so a few of them are matte matte finish and the other ones are glossy I think the white and the orange are glossy and then they have a few other uh, a red and a dark green and a gray which I believe are all matte and they have a silver um, they'll let you know which you know some colors may not be available at certain times but uh, as far as I know they have a, a good amount of stuff right at the moment but um, yeah it's a very it's a excellent bike great customer service I had a few questions uh, I emailed them a few times after I bought the bike and they always answered uh, promptly and uh, I would say roll with it. <laughs>